Uh, and then we step into the next drop, which is the most exciting part of the song and the thing you, you wait for uh, in the song, the payoff. Um, so building so much tension through this whole verse, you know, setting it up nicely and then tr slowly transitioning back into that more electronic feel. Um, is not the easiest thing in the world to do to kind of go from one world to the next and fuse them together over time, but that's something that I love doing and kind of feels natural to me um to kind of again have expectations played with a bit which is fun um and uh yeah so then we get to this drop and we get these crazy fills going into a big drop so let me play the instrumental by itself since you guys know the actual song at this point um you can listen to that uh, for context but here's the instrumental There's a lot going on in this section, mainly on the drums that kind of play with your, again, expectation of what you think is about to happen, making the payoff wait, and then really smashing down on it uh, to make it feel like, oh, wow, okay, this is, and then and, you know, you're back in the groove and everything feels really nice and heavenly there. So let me just show you the drums by themselves since that's where the bulk of the transition is uh, made. Cool. So there's a lot going on there. Um, a lot of new sounds come in just for their little moment and they come back out. Um, one of the songs that I think has an incredible transition like this is uh, the Dua Lipa song. Um, oh, what's it called? You guys know the one. It was Chart Topper, one of her, her first smashes. Um, Ian Kirkpatrick produced it. Just a great feel and plays it with expectations really, really well. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so you can uh, just hear these elements kind of split out a bit. Um, I'll keep the kick going just to kind of hear the, the main pattern, but then I can kind of loop this and show you how the expectations are played with with each part after that. So we have the kick going, we'll throw the snare on, so you guys can hear that, and the hats, and then actually let's leave the hats off. And so here. So logic being very, very sad and slow right now. So let's turn some things off for now. Go to sleep, logic. Go to sleep. All right, this should work fine now. Let's make sure the drums are on still. Pull those out, all right. By themselves. So the groove really drops out and these percussion are the thing that's filling in all that space. So we have a whole bunch of things going on. Throw in the tom fill, which is the first thing you hear. There you go. So that's a classic, just a little tom fill going on. Uh, then we have this huge snare that comes in. And then we have this reverse snare that sets up the payoff. And then the snare that I, is the payoff. And then this riser that comes back, which is that snare sound that I've played up the octave on the keyboard to make this transition sound. And there you go, and then you're in. And the biggest, last payoff in that whole section is this rave clap that comes in on the, what is that, the four. Um, feels great. And then you're back into the groove. So with everything together drum wise, you can hear the context of it. Pretty cool. There's a few other elements that didn't get solid. So let me just play that one more time so you can hear it. There's some big sounds going on there really to get it across like, oh, we're doing some interesting here. So there's some, you know, sweeping sounds, stuff like this. Let's solo that by itself. Just a, just a destructive machine sound. Big smash. There's a crash cymbal. 
really distorted out, adding a bunch of reverb and noise to it. Um, and then there's a, I believe, um, that is that big smash sound is this machine thing. You can hear there's a lot of low end in that too. Of the song there so that's the huge payoff there uh, let me start introducing some other elements so you can hear how those all work with it so the bass drops out for that section but you can hear how it plays into it and then comes back in nice and then we have a whole bunch of synths um, these all come in with the one hitting with everything else nice and then there is uh, no guitar coming in there we'll just play this so you guys can hear it quickly this is just a ripping you know 16th note distorted line in the second half of the chorus just something to add some angst and you know ear candy you always try to introduce new elements so that you never get anything stale and that's again in the back but just kind of helps push things along um let's see if there's any backgrounds yeah there's a few backgrounds that help this transition pay off so let me just play this without the synths without the bass so you can hear how these vocals set everything up So I did my best to try to um, have it pay off at every moment, even after the drop, so that you can catch back into that pocket. Otherwise, it can throw you off quite a bit. So this O, oh, this massive O, oh, um, kind of solidifies, okay, this was intentional, and then the into you ad lib just smashes down again, catching you back in the groove. So you can listen again with that context in mind. <laughs> And then you're right back in and you feel the groove hit right. And then uh, there's the actual vocal chop, which um, you can listen here. It's kind of like the last little bit on top. That sounds like this. So that big sweep is what lets the drums have their moment. Um, and then the backgrounds are the payoff. So all of the vocals and drums together. that makes a bit more sense and gives some color to how this part feels the way it does um everything uh kind of plays a small role in getting it across and getting that to have that impact and to be honest you know this was not completely premeditated like oh i'm going to make it feel like this and this beat is gonna hit this way it's more so experimenting um the first thing that i would have done to get this uh kind of drop feeling interesting was to do the vocal chop with the tape slow down sound and then try to problem solve around that. So, so I knew I wanted to kind of slam back in, uh, not on the one, but wait a bit. Um, and then it was all about trying to figure out the right drum sounds and progression of sounds coming in um, to make that payoff really work. Um, and then adding some, you know, vocal back layers and all that kind of stuff to kind of pay, uh, let the rest of it pay off. So let me play it instrumental wise without the hook uh, melody and you can hear how this kind of rides out. Oh, 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 oh,
Ja. 